there's a lot of buzz around here. So what are you picking up in the context of the theme that we are talking about, which is artificial intelligence and human centricism? So first, of course, high energy, as you rightly said, it's, it's super, super. The optimism is very, very obvious in the entire environment. Uh, along with it, of course, the, the whole piece of, you know, there's caution as well, right? We heard a lot of caution as on this responsibility of this, this pace of change. So both of them, I think, we pick up. Two, uh, the statement that came up, again, an old one, tech-driven but human-centricity. There's more and more emphasis on human-centricity. So organizations really need to invest more, one on technology, plus on people. Otherwise, there's, there's nothing. And why is that emphasis so high today, you feel? No, because the one, the pace of change. Two, the, the way things have been happening. Processes are going to change. Tasks are going to reconvert into something else. The manpower needs to be ready for it. The work, the worker, the workforce, all three are going to change in the next few years. And I think that's what we need to invest in. Can you illustrate that for me? Like when you talk to so many industries or sectors, where do you feel this change is the most palpable? One is the kind of services we provide, right? The, the whole processes have changed, the way uh, machine and human interaction happens, that, that's what changed. Two, the depth of knowledge for industries is becoming all the more important, right? And you could be sitting remote, yet you need that industry knowledge. It's not about shop floor knowledge, it's about knowing it holistically. And then the third, just to complete your first question, agility, right? Uh, every Monday morning is a new AI, we know it, right? Suddenly one new launch happens and, and the world shakes around it. So that agility and adaptability from organization is going to be the differentiator for people. So let me take that step further. So if you were to say agility is important, how do you stay agile in a world like this, where you have like a deep sea kind of announcement, which sort of turns everything upside down in a good way and in a bad way? As organizations, we need to look out for opportunities, right? You can call them challenges, but we all have to see it as an opportunity because the right decisions at the right time and the ability to change those decisions as you go forward is going to make a difference, right? So that certainly is one. Two, the leadership needs to be aggressive. Leadership needs to be very now in the moment, relevant for today and then take it forward from there. Third and most important in this agile, agile space is the ecosystem coming together, right? The government, the academia, the industry, the startups, the GCCs, everything needs to be cohesive for us to really become that, the whole question of agile, right? One can't, you can't leave one behind and say academia will come in later, it doesn't work or the government is not going to be proactive, doesn't work. Bring them all together, the speed of change will really help us in, in that space. Is that your sort of uh, presiding theme for 2025? It is the presiding theme for NASCOM certainly, and I'm part of the executive council. That's our agenda right now, right? How do we bring the ecosystem together, right? Piece of, you can go faster if you go alone, that whole cliche, but you, if you want to go far, you have to all go together, and that's what you want to do. Wonderful note to end on. Thank you, Ajay. Thank you. Thanks Thank you. so much. Thanks, Govind.